CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer joining me now from his backyard on a beautiful Saturday evening. Another beautiful evening, Craig, where people unfortunately have to stay inside. I know, I know. I tell you, it is gorgeous out here this evening. There's not even many mosquitoes or bugs, and that's kind of unusual, especially uh, as we get into spring and summer in South Florida. Here's what's going on. Our Biscayne Bay camera this evening looking nice and quiet. 76 in Miami, 77. Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 78 in Key West. Two on the stickiness scale. The air not that humid. And with a light breeze out there, the winds being pretty light, the clear skies, and the relatively low humidities, uh, we're going to see temperatures in the 60s inland, 70s right along the beaches. Highs today made it into the low to mid 80s just about everywhere. The uh, Pompano Beach thermometer sensor there uh, at the Pompano Air Park, I think it's got a little bit of, a, of an error and will probably have to be recalibrated because it's running about five degrees above everybody else. Uh, no disrespect, Pompano Beach, but that sensor probably needs to be adjusted. And the winds are southeasterly right now, anywhere from about five to 10 miles an hour. In terms of temperatures right now, everybody is in the 70s, except for that a uh, little bit high temperature reading there from that sensor in Pompano Beach. 74 in West Kendall, 73 in Homestead, 78 in Pembroke Pines, and 77 in Oakland Park. Statewide, it's pretty nice. Everybody's in the 70s. Brooksville sitting in the upper 60s. It's going to be another nice night, but another hot day, especially in the middle of the peninsula tomorrow. From basically Orlando north right up through Jacksonville, temperatures will be in the 90s. Everybody else should be in the 80s. Across the country, the southeast, a quarter of the nation, pretty warm and pretty humid. And cool air is coming in from the west. That's pushing into the plains. It's only 38 right now in Denver and kind of chilly in the northeast as well. 42 in Boston, 45 in New York City. And the national map showing a big storm system working its way through the middle of the country. In fact, there is some severe weather ongoing right now in the middle of the country. Those red boxes are tornado watches extending all the way from Mississippi through Alabama, Tennessee, up through Kentucky, even Illinois. A threat for some tornadoes and severe weather as we go through the night tonight. Here's our forecast then. We're looking pretty good. A nice night. 60s inland, 70s uh, right on the coast. Tomorrow, look for tons of sun, an ocean breeze, uh, almost a carbon copy of today with a high temperature near 86 degrees. For boaters, wind southeast at 10 to 15, seas running 2 to 3 feet of light chop on the bays and taking us through the rest of the weekend and to next week. A slow warm-up before a weak cold front and a chance for rain on Wednesday. Francis?